Hey guys, uh, it's Tony at uh, MacMan Alternators again. Uh, today, I uh, figured we'd do a quick little hit on uh, external regulators. And I'm going to try and make this short because you can really go off on a tangent uh, if you want to on these because it's it gets a lot more complicated than, than what I'm about to do. So, um, external regulator. Do you need it? No. Do you want it? No. You don't. In some cases, do you have to have it? Yes. Um, the cases where you have to have it, what we recommend is if you're running 14 volt or higher, 16 volt <clears throat> batteries, those those batteries need to be charged in the upper 16s. Uh, 14 volt, usually 16 and a half, 16 8, and then your uh, 16 volt batteries are, you know, damn near 20. So you start opening up a whole lot of worms on that and it's just for the most part this the systems if you're watching this you, you probably you you can get by without one um, the advantage from 12 volt system to 14 volt system you know if you have a four or five thousand six thousand watt system 9.99 .99 times out of 10 you're gonna be perfectly fine just a normal uh, alternator a couple AGM batteries or um, you know lithium in the back whatever but you just if you can stay away from the externals that's great especially on a race car race car absolutely do not um, a lot of the guys will try to uh, run a 14 volt battery and charge it with a 12 volt setup alternator and it just doesn't work. It works, but it doesn't work the right way and you're not reaping the benefits of the cost of the 14 volt battery because it's not being charged correctly. So, um, so anyway, <clears throat> we sell these external regulators and they work fine when installed correctly. The key word is correctly because I have to do videos on 12 volt switch source sometimes or um, how to get the uh, shorter belt. Those are right on our website. How to easily find those and the directions on how to do it. Uh, it's super easy, you know, one wire uh, in most cases. So when you think external regulator, uh, most people think of the blue box, um, which is this. You'll get this and you'll notice that when you buy ours it will always be open and then two strips of tape will be on it that means that we test these right out of the box to make sure they're 100 percent ready to go so these are you also get your wiring harness with relay and then you get your power wire fuse with the fuse in it and then you get the other turn on with this one the small fuse i think it's like two amps or something like that something something really small but anyway if this intimidates you if relays intimidate you if this intimidates you if this intimidates you and all of this these wires that are labeled if this intimidates you or you don't know what you're doing don't don't order it please don't order it uh, in most cases you can get away um, with just your cookie cutter run-of-the-mill 14.8 volt charging um, you can't charge AGM batteries higher than 15. I mean, you can, you can do a lot of stuff uh, for a little bit, but then it blows up. So uh, 14, 9, 15 on, these are regular AGM batteries here, you know, your excess power, AGM stuff, 15 volts. If you try to run 15 and a half, 16 volts on these, you're just gonna swell them up like a donut and they're gonna pop, blow, do all that stuff. And then of course you're going to blame the alternator for it so none of that stuff so um just a quick recap um you don't want to run one of these unless you absolutely have to um you know uh, your some lithiums or you're just really trying to wring out every single bit of power out of this thing it's really not worth it guys uh, it's really not especially if you're daily driving the thing uh, you know, there's people that run these forever and have no problem with them. They're hooked up correctly. They are hooked up correctly, grounded, field, 
negative, all that stuff is perfect. They've got them mounted on something a little uh, uh, that has some give, like some little rubber pads or whatever, that keep it nice and um, nice and together. Um, that's great. Um, that's great. But if you don't know what you're doing, or even if you don't think you know what you're doing, then it's not right for you. Uh, we have other options to get your voltage up, and it's cheaper, it's easier, and it's really fail-proof unless you you know you got to hook it up right. So, uh, just a quick hit on that. So, uh, thanks, guys. Um, trying to wrap up a few little items here that. We've touched on the phone calls this week, so uh, yeah. Uh, also, your alternator needs to be built specifically for external regulation. Unless you have like some Dodge, old Dodges or something like that, they have a two pin. These two pins that come on GMs, that this is not this is not two pin. This is not external regulator ready. It does not work. It uh, it's a two pin, but it's not external at all. Many people make that mistake, blow the alternator up, blow the external regulator up, and then of course it's our fault. So it even says this on the website on these, that this two pin, factory two pin on the 05 up GM stuff is not external regulator compatible. Don't care what your buddy says, don't care what Facebook says, don't care what anyone says, it's not compatible. You unplug this and try to hack into it and yeah, it's it, this isn't gonna work, it's terrible. So. All right, enough of that rant. On to the next one, guys. See ya.